Hello you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brita coming at you fast with another Paragon Guide video and today we're going to be talking about the buffs, what each buff does, who should pick them up and why, meaning what kind of characters should pick each buff up, and in what situations should you pick them up and when. So let's get started with the actual buffs. Right now I'm in the jungle, in the deep, mysterious jungle, in the mighty jungle, we're killing the blue buff right now. As you can see, this is what the blue buff looks like at the moment. He's probably going to look different. And pay attention to my mana regen at this very moment. And then pay attention to it when I pick up the blue buff. That's right. Blue buff increases your mana regen. I don't know exactly by how much, but it is a substantial amount. And you should definitely look into investing into it and picking it up. It's a very, very useful buff indeed if you are someone like Gideon who needs to use a lot of mana for his abilities to deal a lot of damage or if you're the jungler meaning you spend all your time in the jungle again there's a video on my channel that is going to be up might already be up if you're watching this sometime in the future about jungling so go ahead and check that out but where is the blue buff located so if you look in the top right of your screen you look at the map if you see on the right side of the map there's a little blue orb inside the jungle area and then there's one right across from it, the one that I just killed. Now, red buff is actually on the left side of the map at this moment in time. If you spawn on the opposite side, the directions will be flipped. So blue will be on left and red will be on right. But right now we're looking at the map as it is. And you see two red orbs on the left side as well. That is red buff. Now, I don't actually go and kill red buff in this gameplay. But what red buff does is it increases your damage. So basically, if you are the jungler or the ADC, that is the one you usually want to go for. Remember, there's only one buff on each side of the jungle. So pretty much one buff of each for each one of your teammate members. So you kind of got to share it. You kind of have to assign who gets what buff. Since I was the main person with the mana capabilities, I decided to get blue buff. If somebody's an ADC, they might want to prioritize red buff as they deal more damage with it. So do junglers. Now, there are two more buffs in the game. There's also a black buff that is actually not noted on the map. You can't actually see it. By the way, before we get into that, every single buff lasts about two and a half minutes. So I might as well throw that out there. And I'm pretty sure they take about three minutes to respawn, if I am correct in saying so. Now, black buff is actually located, if we're looking at the map right now, located on the left side in that kind of well looking area now i'm sure people know where orb prime is the purple buff which you can actually see on the right side of the map there's like a little circle white circle with a triangle pyramid looking in it that is where orbis prime is located or purple buff or pink buff however you want to say it or even op buff and right across from that there's actually what seems to be like a black hole, actually. But it's right across from Orbis Prime. That is where Black Buff is. He's just chilling in a pond in the jungle between the two red buffs. Very hard to miss. And basically what he does when you kill him is he gives you a burn to structures. A very powerful burn that helps you destroy structures immensely. It gives you, when I played, gave me about a 300 damage per second burn of damage on an inhibitor when I was hitting it. Needless to say, it does an incredible amount of damage on towers and inhibitors when you damage them, so I recommend picking that buff up by anyone who's going to attack a lot of towers, usually the jungler, because that buff has way more health than blue and red buff do, and it's very hard to kill him on your own, so you usually want to try and kill it, kill the black buff, um, either solo as an amazing jungler or team up to kill it. It does take a bit of time to kill also. It has a lot of health, so it's a it's a bit tricky to hit. And he does deal a, a pretty good amount of damage. He's kind of like a mini boss, so to speak. But it's definitely worth it when you guys are end game, late game, pushing towers, pushing inhibitors. It definitely helps. Now, the most overpowered buff in the game, actually called OP buff, which actually stands for Orb Prime, is where I mentioned earlier on the map when it will pop up on the right side of it from this angle. There's a circle with a triangle in it, and that is where he spawns. Big purple looking dude. I'm sure you've guys seen him before. 
Uh, that's at least an alpha. He just looks like a big purple dude. I don't know how he's going to look like in the future again. Sorry if he changes forms or whatever, but he's still going to be in the same place. I'm assuming, okay? I'm assuming. When you kill him, he drops a pink orb. When you pick it up, it's going to be floating around your body. And on the map, on the left side, no. On the right, le yes, left side, my bad, left side, you can see two kind of titties sticking out from the left side of my map right now, besides the leftmost hump. So it's kind of one kind of diagonalish top left, one kind of diagonalish bottom left, if you look at the left lane on the map at the moment. That is where you're going to go after you pick up the pink buff, depending on what side you are. Because it's like scoring a touchdown. You got to pick up the football first from Orb Prime, and then you got to bring it to the retrieving location. Or I'm not exactly sure what it's called. It looks like a big well. There's a pond of water there, and it's off to the side. And basically, if you are on blue side right now where I am, you're going to go to the far left, so top left well. If you're on the orange side, then you're going to go on the bottom left well. You will see it because a circle on your map will pop up and it will be flashing, indicating where you need to go. And the person who picks up the buff has to go there, and his teammates should escort him. And when you reach that well and you put it into the slot at the top of the stairs, the buff actually increases... Not increases, just a single thing, but activates your prime card. If you look at your deck, it should automatically have a prime card unless you take it out. The prime card is the strongest card in your deck. There's the Warlord, the Centurion, and the Archmagus, and they each have their own effects. The Centurion, for example, is best for tanks. It gives plus 1,000 health, and then it gives a passive to uh, bonus health to minions, I think. The Warlord gives you plus 7, 76 physical damage about, and it uh, gives you more damage to your minions around you, and the Archmages uh, gives you plus 76 energy and extra damage to structures around you, and that's usually in the end game. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. As always, make sure you guys have a wonderful day.